Okay, so last replay I tried to record didn't work out so well because uh, I didn't press one button to enable my microphone to record and that was very lame so yeah one game not not going to happen and now we have this this game I was played yesterday uh, between all these noobs right here, including myself in EO Lucky Noob, we have the smiley face, the mm, one of the probably most famous maps in uh, StarCraft. It is, of course, the big gay hunters. <clears throat> uh, big game hunters, yeah. And we have, let's start it, the APM soaring, spamming, and everything. We have the Teal Protoss, wait a minute, Control and Tab? No, Tabs and Shift? Ah, that doesn't work, god damn it. Um, 75 APM for the Teal Protoss Minion Z. And the Blue Protoss Void 12. Uh, 52 and 52, 50 something for the lucky noob, which is me and Yevo Zerg, yes. Uh, and Yango F. Smil, which is a friend of mine who's pretending to be another a compass, I would say, known associate, let's call him that. Mm. And uh, Zazzy, another Protoss, I don't. Probe already one minute into the game, so that's yeah. There you go. He fixed it. Thank you. Nobody saw that. Don't worry. He has one four one thirteen APM. Nice and the lowest APM of all. Rick one nine eighty seven. Protoss Orange, who I believe. No, I am confused with that. And let's do obs mode. Uh, disabled. Good. So, this is a trivia tree on Big Game Hunters. Mm, lucky Noob already going for his poo, over poo we had, some kind of an over poo we had, two gate from the Protoss. So it's yellow, uh, yellow, teal, and brown, I believe, if I remember correctly. Okay, correctly is the word I was looking for. In my mouth. Uh, not going to blow off. Okay, that's your choice, man. Do whatever you want. Another two gate. So, uh, Terran, Purple Terran versus. I mean, Purple Terran, uh, Orange Protoss, and uh, Protoss, another. So we have a ZPP versus a TPP. Good. Now, the purple being my uh, known, I mean, being my friend and all that, I I wanted to ally him. So, I to embarrass myself, of course. And Divious Plans wanted to ally, uh, and we did. I actually have vision of him, uh, and he has vision of me. So there you go. See, I have. I see four players and he sees the same and now we are going to try to win the game for ourselves of course by eliminating all other players and sending them each other against each other so I'm going to for blue first because I see of course two gate zealots and that's never good for Zerg but I am a little bit prepared of course not paying attention to this so yeah going to lose half of my army here good thing I have reinforcements and uh, Teal is going to attack Orange with some, of course, no coordination whatsoever, even though I told him, let's go Blue, didn't do that, that's okay. And now Blue doesn't, haven't even scouted me, I think. Uh, has Blue scouted me? Hmm. No. So Blue only knows where his allies are, and none of them has actually scouted, so they don't know where any of us are. <laughs> Uh, except, of course, for my allied friend. And he's going to camp his zealots here. 
more zerglings coming from me the lucky up and i'm trying to look at his smiley face i didn't realize that <laughs> putting hatchery here for the eyes and nose and another look smiley nice very good very friendly friendly smiley face <clears throat> and queuing up five pros the ah oh, look at this blocking off his choke with cannons gateway and now cybernetic score going down to gas oh i wonder what he's going to do and going to get attacked by the but my zergling is going for the orange now and orange just now starting his cannons not producing two idle probes yeah orange orange is fucked let's put it this way and teal finally coming a little bit of coordinated attack even though I've already well killed the two cannons and now all the probes are going to die and orange looks like to be the first casualty of this game there you go Rick don't there's no need to attack the Nexus you can retreat now thank you uh, I realize I'm talking to myself from yesterday but uh, that's okay I, I talk to myself a lot <laughs> uh, zealots from blue three gateways now and uh, core and cannons so great we're going to see what's going to happen <clears throat> already going a layer and hydralisk then about goddamn time as a roll of zerlings uh, this lucky noob not mining the gas for some reason I don't know go blue lucky noob says and the lucky noob friend here who, which whose identity I will keep a secret uh, he plays Starcraft usually I mean he used to and now for a little bit gets into Brood War and uh, yeah he's very good at Starcraft too but not so much at Brood War yet yet as some marines not really paying attention i think he was studying at the time or something i don't know so it doesn't matter it's three three on two now uh teal not not doing much adding another gateway really not producing probes only blue is seems to be producing all oh, and he's producing okay so they're all producing probes well i'm not producing drones because i'm a noob and teal yeah teal is also a noob but look at this we have carriers from mr brown himself the zazi who i believe have played a game before against or even casted a game not sure it's possible has one idol pro but yeah there you go again just as I pointed out good 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 timing it's all good he will try to build a carrier fleet <clears throat> of course has seven I mean not using his four starports let's go blue like you know says again because of course oh my god blue has an army a little bit of zealots and they are going to kill you because you are noob but you're also lucky so now blue and uh, purple are going to try to take out the brown menace that's building carriers and he has no defense except those three care those three uh what are they called cannons yeah that's what they're called it doesn't know oh, there's nothing here and uh blue going to insert the zealots as well uh well, the pro blocking the zealots can unlay some real nice shots but it can't be enough first carrier is out no interceptors yet mm, the placement though the wonderful building placement here going to take care of the zealots and dragoons just glitching out stupidly so in the meantime teal is going to attack <laughs> good and good action going to attack blue and blue all this time has been doing absolutely nothing now oh, researching stuff but not producing any armies and blue is going to get destroyed while 
and here, destroyed here and at his home at the same time. Marines not going to focus uh, the carriers. Carriers being microed a little bit, not having enough interceptors yet, but cannons, air cannons here. Losing the shields already on the... Help me, Zazi screams. <laughs> While uh, the Black Inuv Hydralisk and a few dragoons from uh, Teo are trying to destroy the uh, the blue Protoss. Uh, you got it, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna really help him, cause yeah, who cares about him? Fuck him. I'm already re upgrading everything. Zero zero yet. Still hive a little bit of hatchery, so everything is going according to the noob plan so far. Uh, go I'm going to get out of the gateway. All the gateways are going to go down. Not focusing anything really. There's six hydras and three dragoons are literally going to absolutely destroy these protos. Uh, and purple, what are you purple going to do? Nothing. Just going to go back and forth with the medics. Go teal now. So now I am sending purple, my friend who's from the on the other team. I'm sending him to Teal so he can eliminate him. Yeah, Teal only producing zealots has 1k uh, gas in the bank from one extractor assimilator um, and is going to die now to a few to 24 marines to so a few control groups, two control groups of marines. When he's going to steam, being healed by the medics, plus one attack, no no defense or attack for the zealots, and there you go. Death will commence upon the teal. No no tech. And there you go. Blue leaves the game. So now it's me, lucky noob, defending my choke point here with uh, some lurkers trying to what am I doing not much at the moment strategizing yeah that's what I'm doing I'm strategizing uh, taking the natural expansion really pointless because you can yeah, you can produce much more SCVs here take more gas here if you need them but now the carriers are coming here, finally amassed some real nice force and attacking the starport, not focusing the command center, all the SCVs, which are the important stuff. Uh, just going to, there you go, focus the absolutely important in pointless buildings, going to focus the command center now probably, now just the SCVs, racking up some uh, kills while uh, the purple Terran is all the probs that will escape somehow <laughs> so that's good uh, and completely completely kill the carriers looking <laughs> noob says uh, although he's my ally I want him to with steam yeah with steam uh, not not going to happen because there are not enough marines and they're actually a fair fair amount of marines here but there you go he's focusing the interceptors which could be a good thing but ah, oh, there you go not enough medics not enough medics not enough medics and these are is that's a lot of a lot of carriers oh there you go Jesus so I can kill the carriers yeah there you go completely completely destroying the uh, the Terran all these carriers and he Brown really thinks that uh, we have won the game Teal trying to survive here oh, still has his natural next to slowly being uh, taken down of course Brown not going to do anything else not even researching attack or because yeah he thinks he's won the game Teal thinks he's won the game purple loses his natural command center but because he expanded which now turns out to be a good strategy and hydras going to attack them <laughs> because we weren't uh, i didn't ally him so a little bit of a backstab here <laughs> taking no no i thought they took in the middle <laughs> why you know yeah sorry 
carrier is still 10 kills, 11 kills, still going to focus finally, there you go, but you need medics, medics are required, uh, a few hydras, where is the, uh, there you go, there the, the filers, <clears throat> and the piss, the piss will soon be, the golden shower will soon commence upon these carriers and there you go moving the hydras in strategically positioning and backstabbing my ally <laughs> first carrier goes down focusing first carrier second carrier goes down will third carrier go down third carrier goes down fourth carrier goes down <laughs> fifth carrier goes down and now he finally realized after half his army has been destroyed by my hydralis now he realizes oh fuck uh, my ally has backstabbed me <laughs> what a surprise on bgh on big game hunters of course uh, not camping i thought i camped some hydras here what are you doing <laughs> idiot <laughs> because of course i moved the lurkers here and completely that that's not the way to talk to a backstabber definitely going to completely destroy the Theo as well so backstabbing both of them at the same time true man <laughs> he's so mad come on it's just a little bit of fun and now of course uh now my ally purple so it's basically a 2v2 now it's purple and me versus Theo, who's I'm completely yeah he's absolutely destroyed. Uh, Steel has his main uh, nexus though, and not mining from that, so he's given up. I'm racking up 2k, 2k in the bank, 74 supply of army, so that's really really pathetic. And 113 supply of carriers, and he still thinks he's won the game. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Thinks those three, four, five cannons will protect him. Tank going to siege up, and where are the defilers? There come the defilers, and miraculously upgrading. Uh, I've upgraded this game, which is something I rarely, rarely do. This is like the best game I've played. Planting down some random hatcheries in this space. And now the first swarm goes down, hydras go in, and what are you going to do with your carriers now, dear brown, <laughs> dear brown uh, Protoss? Not micring, not even attacking. So he's just, just doing nothing. And Theo leaves the game because, of course, the lurkers, and he realized he's not going to win this game. Uh, because well because of dark swarm there you go another one going down not even targeting the carriers because they are not they are not really a threat not focusing my defiler don't worry i have another one could have done that oh there you go nice plague plaguing half the carriers mm, could have plagued better but still good try uh has he even unallied me Oh, I think he just now. <laughs> I don't think he's no, he is not. He's still allied to me, <laughs> so he doesn't even. I don't think he even. Oh, there you go. He finally unallies me. He he now unallies me. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I didn't realize that. I thought he's now he's fighting, but it doesn't matter because these headers are under swarm. They're not not focusing anything yet because there you go i'm even consuming goddamn hydras because i'm too lazy to build zerlings losing one carrier all these carriers are badly badly damaged except the new ones but they still don't have interceptors and now producing uh arbiters so that's uh that's curious wants to quote the army which is actually pretty smart because i don't have any overlords and uh Terran does not have scan to help me. Now rebuilding his main command center, so there's scan there, that's good. Uh, not focusing anything, but slowly, slowly things are going down. There you go, another swarm running away with the carriers. Going to focus one of them. Uh, 
Is the carrier going to die? More consume on the hydrolisks. Probe still mining valiantly under the fire, but now Nexus being focused down. No more mining for you. Another swarm. And I can do this all fucking day, baby. <laughs> all fucking day. Losing two carriers. There you go. So only four carriers left. Arbiter now cloaks everything. Very nice move, but let's face it. It's not going to be enough. <laughs> still 74 fucking supply. The Terran has now, I mean, the Protoss has now been reduced to 64 supply. Uh, and there you go. Nice plague revealing the carriers even though i don't have uh overlord here focusing down one carrier goes down even no swarm left uh no more swarm left and the two very very almost dead carriers go now dies to this one marine <laughs> and uh going to yeah going to get killed here by the purple terran but i still have not clicked an ally victory now going to try to harass here but i have this four just to prevent from drops and any any shenanigans here uh, so that's good already two three on the hydrolisks still upgrading still not not nearly enough drones just a pitiful amount of drones but with some basic basic micro uh, and of course because i'm playing against inferior players I will be able to uh, now I have already done it completely destroy the Protoss who's still not leaving the game Zazzy because he is doing this <laughs> still has one one so I admire him for this I've I've done some the same but right here when Protoss just hide uh, hide next eye everywhere <laughs> and the Hydra is going to devour I'm uh, going to take yeah, a break. Thank you, Hydra. Nine Q Hydra. That's BGH for you. Ten Q Hydra. Thank you, Hydra. These are all interceptor kills. <laughs> oh, this is the uh, the Hydra Pim squad. Uh, and now I there you go. Putting more hatcheries, rebuilding uh, the spawning pool, and the Hydra is then going to the Nidus Canal. Zazi leaves the game. Nidus Canal here just to be on the safe side. Still mining too much gas and not using it, and mm, not enough drones. We go for each other now? <laughs> Question mark or end it? I ask him, the uh, Terran, because I know I can absolutely crush him. He has nukes. <laughs> Of all, of all things, he's, he's, as I said, he's experimenting with the game. These are like his first games in like really, really long time, in mean years. And let's finish it then. There you go. I won the victory for myself. Going to focus. No, not going to focus anything. Uh, and he has a sizable 100 supply army, which is, yeah, it's, he has more supply than me. Uh, but there you go, going for some lurkers, some ultralisks, some upgrades. And uh, there you go, he knows I have a little bit of a force here, but it's all lurkers. All the hydrolisks have morphed, evolved into lurkers. Uh, going to irradiate my defiler probably. There you go, and burrowing and oh, there you go, 12 kills, 13 kills. All the marines, defender, medic on the marines, not going to help, 16, 17. Oh, death, death, and death. 17, he now retreats and scouts this fucking expansion. Mm. And uh, Defiler, what are you going to do? 17, 19 kills on this lurk. <laughs> and 17 on this one. So complete, complete massacre of the Marines, which are upgraded as well. So very good there. Going to, uh, you might want to swarm. 13, ah, oh, 14, ah, oh, 22 kills, a lot of kills, 24 kills, 25 kills, and going to that last marine, yes, last marine and last lurker die, but a lot more left here, I mean, three, three more, that's not a lot more, but in this game it's a lot more, <laughs> and what am I going to do now? There you go, so finally some uh, almost cracklings upgraded the... Uh, 
adrenaline glands and the other upgrade the hive upgrade for the cracklings and ghost being spotted there nice nukes <laughs> i say uh and there you go hydras killing marines not supposed to happen but it doesn't because he doesn't have and there you go swarm goes down lurkers not even there you go burrowing we'll bother to burrow and everything is going to get sliced diced devoured eaten two kill zergling one kill zergling <laughs> Uh, oh, if, if only he had medics this would have been a fair contest because well look at this I am I am so slow in doing anything uh, there you go bunker not being repaired going to go down nuclear silo building the nuke does he have another ghost uh, there you go going to burrow here going to kill the expansion and oh i believe where is the ghost loading up the scv is not giving up i love that i thought there was a nuke was there a nuke no probably no nuke in this game sadly there you go four lurkers going to burrow here i'll finish off the marines uh damaged scv is being saved so that's that's nice for them probably never going to die and yeah there you go more more ultras Jesus, is 25 minutes already <laughs> oh so long time flies still having 2k 2k i don't want to spend this fucking lucky noob doesn't want to spend it's kind of weird talking about myself in third person going to attack the depot most pointless building at this point because there's no army so there's no supply uh, to speak of and uh, there you go continuing to kill everything and uh, are you going to gg dear terran no it just leaves the game uh, because yeah we we should have both it should have been an allied victory but i i sometimes get greedy and uh yeah it's very hard to win a zerg things like that usually on bgh but sometimes you get lucky you get a group of people who are around the d d minus level and then uh even with my non-existent skill can still uh and why is this not over? Oh, of course, because I want to kill everything. Time 16, going to infest the command center, I believe. There you go. And how much more time would I spend here? I want. <laughs> going to kill everything, every, even this base. And there you go, 31. <laughs> Five minutes later, finishing the game. So, that's how I play. Sometimes, not always and uh you can do the same thing uh if you join uh, brood war <laughs> <laughs> gg and thanks for watching